Today, we're going to do some licks in the style of B.B. King. So the jam track we're playing over is basically just a basic 12 bar slow blues E major. Chords are like E9, A9, and B9. A couple quick things to get you in the style of B.B. King is think like short bursts of notes. And obviously the other thing is that vibrato. We play this E note. <laughs> He has this very fast kind of vibrato and, and what he does is he he doesn't kind of hook his thumb or support it on the rest uh, 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 the rest on the neck like a lot of players including myself do when we vibrato he kind of just lets it his whole hand go so you want to kind of experiment with that he adds a lot of nuance to his playing with the vibrato also he, he rakes into all those bends and he's always raking the strings he kind of plays outside notes a lot right like over a major key jam he's not just playing straight major pentatonic oftentimes although we associate that sweet major sound those sweet licks with his playing he's adding different things he's adding you know the the flat third uh he's adding the blue note the flat five he's adding um the fourth so he's kind of taking from minor pentatonic major pentatonic and the blues scale and mixing it all together. So here's the first lick we'll play, very standard BB King style. Slide up into that sixth fret on the G string, that's the sixth note. Then fifth fret, B string, then seventh fret on that B string, but then we're gonna bend that up a whole step. So you're bending that F sharp to the G sharp, very major pentatonic. And then, that's the key. Bend it up and then right back to the root note with vibrato. All right, and a couple other things we could add to that lick is he adds these little extras to a lot of his licks and you could add them in season the taste. Right, or those two little licks there. So all I'm doing there is I'm grabbing, grabbing the high E seventh fret, that's B note. And then twice back on that B string root note. Or grab that sixth, sixth fret G string. And a lot of times it's kind of quick. Here's another lick he does a lot. All right, what I'm doing there is I'm starting the lick the same way we started the last lick. Slide, and then your, your root note on the second note of that lick. And then you're gonna grab that seventh fret, that B, and you're gonna bend it up to C sharp. Right? Again, very major pentatonic. And then right back to that root note. And then if you want to just go to that sixth and slide out of it. Here's another lick. Same position. All right, this time we're starting with the bend on the seventh fret on the B string. And then you're going to quickly go fifth fret, seventh fret on the high E string, we're stealing that A note, that fifth fret from the blue scale, or minor pentatonic. And then back to that seventh fret, bend it again, quick up, and then right to our root note again. You can even throw in that sixth again if you want. Here's another lick in this position, and he plays this lick fast. I'll show you two different ways. He plays it sometimes like this. Okay, all that is seven five high E, seven five B. Then you can grab that sixth again. Sometimes we'll play the lick like this. Okay, that time I played this note here, which is our G, which is the flat third. So he's stealing that from minor pentatonic, that lick. All right, so you kind of fool around with both of them. Really in the style of BB King is when he does stuff like this. A lot of times he'll pick the high octave of, of the keys in, so we want to play a high E, 12th fret, high E string. Just kind of rake into it, mute it with the palm of your fret hand. See, and you're getting all these muted notes, but not the last one. And then slide. Sometimes he does it twice like that. And then he'll go right to the lower E note, this one, uh, fifth fret back at our root note on that B string. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. Then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons and content coming. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and see you in the next lesson.